guys, I'm Francesca. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we get into today's recipe, I just want to say thank you guys so much for your support and love over the last 24 hours in response to my Instagram stories and everything that's going on with YouTube at the moment. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then check out my last video and you can know what's going on with smaller content creators. So today we are going to make vegan gnocchi and vegan bolognese, which came out amazing. Like I know I say I love a lot of things that I make, but oh my gosh, guys, you got to make this. You got to make it for a loved one. Give it to them. They will go crazy for it. My mom actually came home and had a bite and she was like, Francesca, this gnocchi is so good. Where'd you get it from? I said, Ma, I made the gnocchi. I said, I, it was just potato and flour. I said, it's so easy. She was like, oh my gosh, this is better than half of the ones I've had in restaurants. She's like, this sauce. She's like, don't tell me what's in it. I don't want to know. She gets freaked out by faking. She's like, just don't tell me what it is. It's really good. And trust me, my mother has spit my own food out in front of me. She's been like, I hate this and spits it out. So she is tough on me. She's Italian. She's not vegan. So she's not going to BS with me. So before we get into the recipes, there are just a few things I want to say. One, if you don't know what a gnocchi is, it's a potato dumpling, basically. Usually it's not vegan because there is egg in it, but you can just make it with potato and flour and it works out fine. Two, when I do the mashing of the potatoes, ideally you want to use a potato ricer, but you don't have to use one if you don't have one. You can do it with the fork. Just takes a little more of tender, loving care. So just be patient if you're doing it with a fork. If you have the potato ricer though, you're going to make your life a lot easier. And number three, the kind of potato that you use is very important. You want a nice dry potato. The more flour you have to add in, the heavier and denser your gnocchi is going to be, which we don't want. We want our gnocchi to be like light, fluffy little clouds in our mouth. So you want to use as little flour as possible, like just enough to get it into that dough, and then like done. So russet potatoes are great and you bake them in the oven. Do not boil your potato before making gnocchi. And yeah, I think that's all I got to say. So let's get into our recipes. Oh, this was a bit of a Francesca screw up over here. I forgot to tape this, but basically into the pan I added vegan ground beef, some almond milk, and tomato sauce. The vegan ground beef, you can use any brand you like. I personally like to get mine from Trader Joe's or Beyond Meat. Gardein also has one. There's ones from Boca, Veggie Crumbles. If you don't want to use ground beef, vegan ground beef, you can use lentils. Um, the only thing is the lentils are going to soak up more water, like more moisture, so you may need to add in more water to compensate for that. The second thing is the almond milk that we added in and traditionally bolognese has a heavy cream in there just to kind of like thicken it all up and whatever. So I added in the almond milk about half a cup and the um, tomato sauce. I just used regular canned tomato sauce from Trader Joe's to make my life a little bit easier and not go through the process of having to cook this sauce all day long. So sorry about that and let's get back into our recipe clips. Thank you. 
All right, guys, that was our recipe. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't be intimidated by the gnocchi. It is absolutely easy to make. If you don't want to make it from scratch, though, there are tons of gnocchi that you can get in the store. Basically, if you find gnocchi in the dried section by dry pastas, you're pretty much good to go. I mean, just double check the ingredients. But usually, if it's in the refrigerated section, that is when gnocchi is not vegan or like vegan friendly. But otherwise, you just saw how easy it is to make. I mean, literally, two ingredients. So, so simple. And a fun activity, I think, to get involved with your kids. And yeah, just like a fun weekend activity to do and you get like a delicious homemade meal from it As always, I will have the recipe down below linked to my blog as well as all my social media And again, I just I cannot thank you guys enough for all your support and I just oh, It means so much to me whatever happens happens and I'm just gonna keep pushing through I hope I keep getting you know new people coming in and whatever and thank you guys for all your support so that's it. Make sure, oh yeah, and make sure if you make this recipe to please tag me on Instagram or message me about it or something. I love to hear back from you guys. That is like really what fulfills me the most is when somebody tries a recipe and says, Francesca, I loved this thing. Like, do you, you don't even know how much joy that brings me. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.